Good morning everybody and today on PTL's Garage we're going to learn how to vinyl wrap a car and we're going to have a guest star Javi today <laughs> and so we're going to show you guys the simple steps and the hard stuff all today on PTL's Garage One of your big vital steps before you even get started on wrapping this car is your tools. And what I mean by tools is all your little little things you need to get this car wrapped correctly. So number one, the first thing you need to do is wash the car as thoroughly as possible. Make sure it's free of all debris and pollen marks and bug marks and if there's any body scratches like anything deep that you can feel um, anything that is like rock chipped that all has to be fixed before you wrap your car the reason why because the wrap will show on the body um, pretty much those nicks uh, same with goes with dirt and whatnot all that will be shown so we need to make sure this is as dirt free and clean of any debris as possible once that is done you need to do what we call a bu uh, no, a wax and a what was it a wax and a, a bug, and, bug and wax remover yeah bug and wax remover there you go um, you need to do the entire car because we need to make sure there's n the whole body is literally chemical free of anything this way that the uh, the vinyl adheres to the car as best as possible and will last as long as possible um, so once that's all said and done I mean that's a pretty straightforward process I know you guys know how to wash your car you just grab that bug and tar, uh, wax remover and just you just literally do the whole entire car that'll make sure everything's oil free from your hands and everything once that's done now your tools these are squeegees and they're felt squeegees uh, Javi's paid about twenty dollars for this kit so Really, really good little kit that will get you started. You get gloves. Um, you get a little X-Acto knife here. And you're going to need uh, about a couple blades, so I recommend getting a couple of these. If your kit only came with one, make sure you pick up two or three of them on the side. These are little magnets right here. These magnets are meant to hold the vinyl in place once you lay it down. That way you guys can work on it easier. I keep dropping this stuff and then a box of blades okay now on these blades um, they break off so once you run out of a like if you use up a good blade snap it off and then go to the next one that way you can keep reusing them over and over instead of just keep replacing blades you will go through blades pretty quickly uh, when you're doing this because you're gonna be cutting a lot of material long wise so the blades will dull pretty quick uh, that's why you get these kind of blades to so get the work done uh, as efficient and low cost as possible. Now the cost of a vinyl wrap varies from car to car. Um, I always recommend to measure the length of the car and times that by three, which will be your wrap for the entire car. Um, the reason why I say times by three, this is considered one way this side is considered another and then the other side is considered another wrap so um, you have to do the card length three times and give yourself about a yard or two extra just for any errors or mistakes along the way um, you just what well, you want to prevent not prevent but you want to make sure you can have an error free you know wrap but it's not going to happen um, especially if this is going to be my third time wrapping a car I'm not very good at it but this is 
a fun project. It's meant to be, you know, do it and see how it comes out, you know. Uh, I'm not a professional. I'm never going to say that. Uh, more of an amateur. Javi and I, I mean, we spent about 600 bucks for the entire thing, so this is probably a best example of how to do a whole car um, with the rights and wrongs in doing it. So stay, t stay tuned, and like I said, let's, let's get it done together, guys. So we're doing an Avery Red. It's like a tomato red almost. So what you do is that you're going to... You gotta always have a buddy because you can't do this solo. It's not easy to pull vinyl and cut it. So you need to grab the roll together or someone hold the roll, magnetize it onto the car, pull it out to where you need to cut it, and then cut it off. There's really no perfect cut. You just cut it as long as it's straightish to a point. We'll show you, but just stay tuned. So now that we have the uh, car in perspective, so we're going to grab the vinyl. You're going to pull. Make sure it passes the uh, the little white lip right there. Okay. Yeah. So, and then magnetize it, and then go on the other side and do the same thing. So remember, once you um, have it, you're gonna pull it. Now you see the little corner that's on the hood, right? Mm -hmm. You need to make sure it passes it by like a quarter inch to half an inch. That way it gives us the slack that we need. And then look underneath and check the, uh, the distance of the hood. You can do it on the hood, just slap, okay. slap it on the hood itself. Alright. Okay, now grab uh, one of the knives and we're going to have to cut it. Find where the hood ends. And there's a hood. So we want to go out about like right here. So double check it. This is a cut. This is a big cut. So. Uh -huh. yeah. so what he's doing is that we're double checking where the hood ends. And then we're going to go out about an inch to an inch and a half away from the hood. And that's going to give us the slack that we're going to need. Remember, it's always good to measure twice and cut one. I can just cover here. Is that where you're at? So where's yeah. the hood right here? Yeah, it ends like right here. So. Yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. that's straight, don't cut up. You're cutting up. Follow that line and cut it up. Be perfect, and it's got to be cut. All right, now put this back in the Now, this is Avery, what is it, 391 or something like that? I'm not sure. Well, this is a special type of Avery uh, vinyl. Where once you peel it off, it actually slides on the car. Um, so what you're gonna do is double check your cut.
Now you are going to need a heat gun as well. And the heat gun's for the corners when you get to that point. But for right now, that's all you're going to need to worry about is just getting it on here. Um, so, there's a couple ways you guys can do this. The way that I've taught myself is get more extra magnets. And, oh, here, I got it right here. I do half and half, um, not the whole thing. So, it's not, I don't know if that's the proper or the wrong way, but that's the way I've done it myself. Okay, so with your body, so you're going to lift up, pull the corner, and then lay it down. Make sure the vinyl is like stretchy and straight, as flat as possible, and then you lay it down. And then, with your squeegees. You'll see that like you get little bubbles. If that happens, you pull the vinyl up. And then work your way back in. To the edge. And then all you do is you're going to start squeegeeing. And it's a pain, so you're gonna end up, the, the whole purpose of the vinyl is so you can pull it up and then do it all over again. So this is where it becomes time consuming because you wanna get all rid of all the bubbles. And it's not easy. gnarly big ones like this where you got to pull the whole vinyl back up uh, we want to pull it from that side Alright, sorry guys that we didn't record the install of this one. Um, main reason why is because we're having a lot of mistakes, but we finally got the hood wrapped. Big pieces like this are the hardest to do, FYI. So, when you make sure you wash your hands before you do this, because you want to get as, as many of the oils out of your hand. And when you do that, 
the way we were showing you earlier, you do it half a section or half a car at a time. Uh, you will get little nicks. Um, if you see bubbles or anything like that on the hood um, or wrinkles, the good thing about the Avery, um, uh, what's it called, uh, vinyl, it's a self-healing vinyl and it's a self-aerating vinyl, so it will air out on its own. Uh, so just go around and check the material. Mm -hmm. But we'll show you how to do a door. I mean, actually, a fender. And a smaller scale, it's easier to do a smaller scale to show you how the, 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 to put, put it on. Uh, but once you have the material on the car and wrapped, uh, especially like the hood and all that, we want to take the hood, uh, open the hood up, and then cut the material uh, as far out from the uh, inside of the hood. So that way we can wrap it underneath. Okay? So once you have the hood pop, you're going to get your vinyl and you're going to pull it over the edge, just stretching it. We're going to get a heat gun right now and show you what you got to do next. But just stretch it over the edge first. The heat gun's going to even out the wrinkles for us. Now if your vinyl has like folded over, we need to make sure that we unfold it as best we can if you don't have enough material. Uh, one thing I'm checking up here is if, uh, if there's any wrinkles on the hood itself. Yeah. Can you turn that down, please? Thank you. Same thing over there in that corner. That's what sucks about hoods. So all that's done. Um, we're gonna. Uh, shit. We didn't clean underneath the hood, huh? <laughs> Hopefully we can get it nice and clean. What you're gonna do is see where the line ends here with the hood, and you're gonna cut that line out. Now it's okay if you have an access to material or leftover, but just be careful not to cut more than what's there, because you can end up cutting too much, and it'll look not very good when you close your hood. Um, you'll see here it's gonna wrinkle a little bit. That's okay. Uh, like I was telling you guys, we're gonna use a heat gun, and then we're gonna push this down so it sticks nicely and firm on the actual hood itself. Um, the goal is to just try to make it look like there's an actual paint job on the car, not just a sticker on the hood. And that's pretty much what it is, big giant sticker. So we're going to keep cutting. So like this one doesn't have a lip, so we want to kind of just stay. Hey, babe. Tomatoey, huh? That's what I call it. I think we're going to call this the Campbell soup car. Tomato soup car. So on the corners right here, um, if there's enough slack, it'll probably just uh, go right in. Just like that. See how nice and clean the lines are? I hope you guys can see that. Um, that's the goal is to just make it as clean as possible on top. Um, this is really not a hood popper. This is more of, you know, a nice low car and really, really nice wheels on it that he doesn't need. <laughs> so 
So we gotta pull this back. So I'm going to have to try to cut it as close as I can. Now the complicated part is when the hood starts to curve and you'll see the material will start to like bow out so this is where your heat gun is going to come into place when we get to that. All we're trying to do is make sure that all the material is wrapped around the curvature of the hood. So when we cut it looks really clean. There you go. Back up. I do the best you can to cut as close as you can, but I don't recommend cutting too close because you know, like I said, you don't want to cut too much and then end up ruining a corner or a front. You know, you can always come back and cut more. Keep going, going down the line. He has like a fat rock chip right here, so that's going to be really noticeable. But these are things, you know, this car is not brand new. Like I was telling him, most people who wrap cars are like brand new cars. for this is that brand new cars have in, no imperfections in their paint job. Now this DIY is going to be really long guys because this is a very slow process. Most guys, you know, who are really good at this probably can do this an entire day. This will probably take me two days to wrap the whole entire car. So, <laughs> coming over tomorrow, right? <laughs> so a good thing Javi's got some time off so we can definitely get this done. It's going to be really, really cool looking. We're going to show you some before and after pictures as well. Because I actually took my time and took pictures of his car so we can actually do some before and after stuff. And Javi, don't be afraid to talk to people. Or stock. Alright. 
So everything that's not going to stick, pretty much you're going to cut off if you can. And like I was saying earlier, like this right here, this corner, you're going to try to stretch it as over as best you can and then cut the rest off because you can't really like make it perfect. So I know even though it gives you the ability to stretch it and put it on there, but sometimes it won't work. So work our way on the other side over here. this off Close the hood. We're going to work our way over here now. And on the hood, you kind of, you're going to kind of guess like how far you need to cut off. Uh, sometimes this material doesn't stretch very well or stretch too well. Just leave the wood, the hood red. That's it. Leave it alone from there. It's like wrap job done. Okay, so now, with all that cut off, you can grab your squeegee. Where's the other one? We're going to try to squeegee the uh, corners as best you can. Because this stuff doesn't like really um, work really well. Like, we have got to roll it underneath and then try to cut it from underneath the car, underneath the hood. There's a nice bright red tomato. Yeah, all right. Good. Hmm? It's gonna look good. All right. Yeah, it's probably gonna look really good. I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this car. And then you'll see underneath the hood, get you guys down here. How about we get to get closer? Let's get you into the action. You see here, and then you're pretty much you're going to try to push it all in together. 
Now, it's really up to you on how clean you want it. You can go underneath there and start cutting away even more. Um, personally, I like the more material underneath. That way it holds a little bit stronger. Um, but it's your choice. Um, I'm just showing you what we're doing. Um, all these little edges you'll see right here, there's like a big pocket. You want to try to get that pocket out. So, two ways you can do this. You can try to squeegee it. If it's not holding up. You need to get the heat gun and then squeegee it on top of that. The heat gun will loosen the vinyl and let you stretch it some more and give you let it adhere to the car itself. That's how you're going to get these uh, corners nice and clean. All right, and I'll show you guys in a minute. And like I was saying down here, pull the vinyl over. You want to do that, Javi? Yeah. Just slide just it around this corner. Yeah, just get it around the corner. Just like that. Do the best you can to get that clean, clean line on here. After you're all done, you need to wash your hands all over again because you don't want to get any oils on the next uh, job that we're going to be doing on the next area of the car. And you'll see right here, we got little, little creases. You want to pull the vinyl back, make sure those creases disappear. Like I was saying earlier, Avery has a good self-healing material, so these will go away with the heat. So keep going around, make your way around, and I'm going to get the heat gun right now. Alright, so with your heat gun, let me get you guys over here so you guys can see what's going to happen. So, once you heat up the material, don't get this thing super hot because it will, you can burn it. But, just nice and warm and it will stretch nicely and you'll see the lines get go away even better. You know, this is underneath the, on, on the side of the hood, so a lot of this stuff is not visible. But a lot of stuff that you want to worry about, you want to heat up a little bit so you can get them out. And you'll notice when you heat it up, it'll wrinkle a little bit, and that's when you know it's the right temperature. And just push right in. Don't try to, like, push too hard because you can rip the material and once you get it just pull it down over So just do the best you can. These are the side, like I said, these are for the sides. They're not such a big deal on the sides. No one's gonna see them. But for personal, you know, I guess feeling and gratification, you want to do the best you can for yourself. But like I said, keep repeating, it's not required.
Yep, sorry. Now we're gonna get these little corners that I keep talking about. These right here. I'm gonna pull it a little bit and then voila, all gone. Nice and round corners. We're gonna go fix the one that's over here. Oh. Hopefully you guys can see that. Sorry. Here, Javi, I'll take this off, pull this lever out, and pull the camera out. Point right here. So you guys can see this right here up close. So you you see all these little wrinkles. Heat up the material. Not too hot though. And then Do the best you can to stretch it. Nope, too hot now. It'll get really like loosey goosey on you. And then you can cut off the axis right here. Pretty good. You see that? That wrinkle's all gone now. Pretty cool. Let's work our way over. Same thing over here. Just heat it up enough and then just stretch it over. Get the heat out of the way and you'll notice nice and clean corner and then you can cut off the axis that's the great thing about this you can cut it off or leave it there it's your guys's choice your car You'll notice when you'll know when it's getting too hot is when the material gets really stretchy. Um, that's about pretty much maximum temp. If you're getting hotter than that, it's gonna not gonna do its job anymore. You're gonna burning the material. So pay close attention to that. Let's work our way over here to this side. You see, there's a nice little corner wrinkle, and then pull it over gone. And we can heat all this material up. And that way we can just put our finger right through it and push it down. There we go.